The Barbarians Who were the barbarians? The Romans referred to people groups outside the Roman Empire as barbarians. The barbarians had different cultures than the Romans. They dressed differently, ate different foods, and had different religions. They did not have the same level of government, education, or engineering as the Romans. Barbarian peoples and invasions of Rome. The barbarians weren't just one people group. The term barbarian was used to describe a wide variety of different peoples that had little to do with each other. Many of the groups that attacked and invaded the Roman Empire were Germanic tribes from Northern Europe. Germanic tribes to 375. The Germanic tribes, important to Rome, loss of wealth, power, reputation, started in Scandinavia, from which they moved south around 1000 BCE. By 100 BCE, they had reached the Rhine area, and about 200 years later, the Danube, both Roman borders. The Western German tribes consisted of the Marcomanni, Alemanni, Franks, Angles, and Saxons, while the Eastern tribes north of the Danube consisted of Vandals, Gepids, Ostrogoths, and Visigoths. The Alans, Burgundians, and Lombards are less easy to define. Caesar first watched the Germanic tribes in 51 BCE and marked them as a possible threat. German tribes were clan-based with blood loyalty, the basis for all forces that joined things together. Living on and off in settled forest clearings called hamlets, they started working at mixed survival, income producing of crops and animals. Cultivation, producing crops, were basic and simple given the hard clay, soil, and use of tools more suited to Mediterranean areas. There was not much food, so population remained small, around one million. Without much work, they focused on doing one thing very well. They were an Iron Age culture of focusing on war. For the first century CE, they were not a real danger to Rome. Hornus made sure of poor weapons. They had limited strategies, consisting of attacks and a mass charge. Divisions into many small tribes meant a lack of political cooperation. There was no real constant government beyond the group of people. In peacetime, tribal groups of people made up of all free men and warriors decided issues of peace and war. They would elect war chiefs only for a short time, whose realness, respect, and truth ended after angry feelings. About 100 CE, after Caesar had won by force Gaul up to the Rhine, Space was stopped for the wandering tribes, causing pressure on the borders. The wandering tribes could no longer move into territory that wasn't theirs. Some Germans began to come into contact with Roman people at border forts. They greatly liked and respected the material parts of Roman culture, such as arms, domestic items for sale, etc. Small numbers were accepted for service with Roman legions and small-scale German-Roman trade relations came out, became visible, involving cows, bulls, etc., and slaves. Slowly, changes happened in their tribes over the next 250 years. Though family relationship remained the first or most important bond, a new kind of political group changed the comatus Older successful warrior chieftains took in younger people who wanted to achieve something, who then broke in two and shared the loot with each other. This arrangement produced a professional, more deadly warrior group where close friendships were now between man and lord. The last thing just mentioned signaling the beginning of a small, rich, and powerful group of people. At the same time, as intertribe conflict increased, tribes began electing fewer, longer serving war chiefs. Eastern German tribes, Goths and Vandals, slowly moved from North Poland to the Ukraine, pressuring the Danube edge of an unexplored area. They also settled north of the Black Sea to the west of the Huns. Around 200, small tribes began to come together into supra tribal groups 
Southern Germans came together into the Alemanni, while Middle Rhine groups combined into the Franks, and the North Germans came together as Saxons. By the 300s, there was a constant belt of dangerous tribes all along the Roman lines from the North Sea to the Black Sea. Increasing numbers of Germans began to serve as Roman forces just beyond the Roman borders, learning new strategies, buying and owning better materials, coming to like and respect the Roman community of people even more. Some even went through a process of partial Romanization. Some, the Visigoths especially, were slowly converted to Christianity from the 340s Boethias, Converting to the Aryan form of Christianity, soon to be called unholiness, the Visigoths slowly communicated it to the Ostrogoths, Vandals, and Burgundians. Roman patterns of movement remained regular until 375. In the mid-360s, the pagan backsliding Julian began a large series of actions to reach a goal, taking elements of the Rhine and Danube Arbys with him. In the 370s, Alemanni this way broke into Gaul, but were stopped by the Western Emperor Valentin, who in 375, Valentin died while pushing the Sarmatians back over the Danube. He was followed by Gratian and the Western Valens in the east. The Romans fought the boundary, the barbarians at the borders of the Roman Empire for many years. In some cases, barbarians became part of the Roman Empire. In other cases, they fought wars and eventually sacked the city of Rome, bringing about the end of the Roman West Roman Empire. 